Welcome back to Papa Bear Gaming. Wait, is this a second video? You're doing two videos in December and it's not a short? Are you feeling okay? Well, I don't know if I'm feeling okay because I got a package today in the mail and the package is from Love the Gen Media. I decided to go give him a shot again. Um, but while I ordered the package, I also selected everything that was selectable. I literally picked every genre. Um, is it going to work? I don't know. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it's, it, I'm, I'm going to get some kind of a great payout. If not, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just feel stupid. <laughs> so hopefully this works out. Stay tuned. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the box. I, I would have actually bought a box from them um, way earlier than what I did. I think my first unboxing was in like, I don't know, April or something or May, whatever. Actually, even potentially earlier. Um, maybe even last year. Man, time flies by. But um, what ended up happening was every time I tried to order a box from Love the Gin Media, I got some weird like Google error saying that the... Um, that, 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 yeah, what is it called? Like the caption that verifies if you're a robot. Um, for some reason it wouldn't load. And I tried on my phone, tried on my computer, I tried on my laptop, I tried on my wife's phone, nothing. Not a zilch. I couldn't get it to works. So apparently I was talking to a couple other uh, YouTubers that have been opening these boxes. And most of them have actually signed up for the subscription, which that's something that I didn't. I even try to sign up for the subscription to see if I can bypass that error. But for some weird reason, I just couldn't order anything from them for a while. So it might have been a good thing. It might have been a bad thing. I don't know. Um, but I ordered the 10 pack of games. Love the Gin Media. I'm going to put their link in the description if you're looking to uh, potentially expand your collection or get into some new games that uh, you might have, um, you know, not have in your collection. The only caveat I do have to say is that Loved Again Media um, does not store any kind of a database um, in terms of like what you own or what they already shipped you or whatnot. So you could literally get a box from them and it'll be like the same game in every box, right? But but that's why I get the 10 box. So, you know, the stuff I have, the stuff that's a duplicate, I'll probably just put it up for trade. And the stuff that's not a duplicate, you know, I'll, I'll either put it in the collection or uh, I, I might even put it up for trade too. You know, it all really depends on the condition and stuff like that, right? Or if it's if it's a really common game and it's it's, you know, it's all broken up or whatever right then I, I i'll probably wouldn't want to keep it in my collection i'll probably want to trade it or or i'll just throw it in as a freebie for somebody right like that that happens uh and the the few folks that i've been trading with don't forget you guys are going to get a shout out <laughs> at some point coming up when my next video drops um i'm thinking it should be in december i'm thinking i got enough time i'm going to take some time off of work so i should have plenty of time to make another video but let's let's get into this that um i do have to say for some reason and i don't know why this is like this is a heavy box like every box i've ever gotten from um vgm is a 10 game box as well and i don't think they've ever been this heavy so i don't know i literally don't know it's it's just feels really really heavy there's there's also no loved again media sticker on here Right, so not sure why, but first game, it's a sports game because I signed up for sports games and I'm probably one of the very few people that actually collect sports games. Um, I do like sports games. I do like NBA. I like to play a little bit of football once in a while. Not, not a huge, huge football fan, but I've definitely enjoyed a bunch of them. So the first game we got is NBA 2K17, PS4. Four. It's probably um, a purchase from GameStop at some point. 
Um, I actually don't have this one. I was kind of afraid that I was going to get some of the older, older games. But I think I stopped buying NBA 2K at about uh, 15. So that actually works out. So far, that's a good one. Oh, and it looks like it's going to be all sports titles, huh? <laughs> so I got Madden 15. Also, not a bad one. Oh, and I got coupons off of batteries. See, it's the gift that keeps on giving. wonder if it's expired. Are these expired? Oh, yeah, they, they've been expired for like almost 10 years now. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can't use that for sure. I might be able to mail it to him and be like, hey man, uh, I'll buy your batteries. Can I get a, uh, can I still get a coupon or something like that, right? And then you got, you know, your direct TV package deal. But yeah, Madden 15. Um, one thing about Love Again Media is their discs are always just perfect. I mean, with the, um, you know, with a, like a small piece of dust or something, right? That, that might be the only exception, but there's a couple of fingerprints on here. But as far as like the scratches on the disc, there's nothing. So I got, let's see, two sports games. And this is probably because I checked everything off, right? So they're probably like, no, no one's asking for sports games and they probably have a ton of them. So as soon as somebody asks for sports games they'll just like throw every sports game that they have just to reduce their stock so we have madden nfl 12 i actually have um i think this game twice to be honest with you uh i think i bought it one time it was like a couple dollars at uh at a retro video game store and then like a month later i bought it again because i didn't realize that i had this one so Three, three sports games. What is this one? Okay. Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. There it is. No, uh, no manual. Ooh, I wonder if this one will actually play. It's got some pretty deep scratches there in the middle. Will it go, does it go through? No, it doesn't go through, I don't think. Yeah, but those are some pretty hefty scratches, so hopefully it will play. But if it does play, I'm very excited and happy for it. <clears throat> hopefully it's not a sports game. Oh, Call of Duty 4. Modern Warfare. So this one's, uh, you know, okay. I don't think I have this one. Actually, I don't think I have any of these games besides the uh, the Madden 12 game. So, um, I do like shooters. I don't really have a ton of time to really play um, shooters, you know, outside of what I'm already playing. But but once I get into them, I think I'm going to go nuts. I'm going to play every shooter available to me. Um, I did get a PS2 game just here. Oh, disc again. Perfect. That is fantastic. And that is NBA Tonight. Is this a Blockbuster game or something? It says Trade and Save Game Rush at Blockbuster. No, but NBA Tonight. Looks like it's an ESPN game. Looks pretty good. I, I love the old style graphics, how they were showing them off, and now they just look completely ridiculous. Like, he, that that's not a face of excitement, or that's, that's a face of, like, terror. Like... <laughs> Same, same, same thing over here. What is that? Like a no look pass or something? Dropping dimes. I don't know, man. <laughs> but I'm uh, pretty happy to add it to the collection. I'll, uh, I'll be able to take off those stickers, no problem. So you got so that was six. So that was six, and so far I got one, two, three, four sports games, one Guitar Hero game, and one Call of Duty game. I should have four more games in here. And they're all disc-based. Hey, no loose discs, which is great. I got Major League Baseball 2K10. Wow, so I guess this is what happens when you check everything off on Love Again Media. You get sports games. You get a lot of sports games. So baseball games, I'm not really a big fan of. I think I played uh, Wii U Baseball. That's about it. Next one. FIFA Soccer 09 on the PS2. I'm actually 
more interested for the PS2 games, as long as the discs are clean, I'll add them to my collection. Eventually, I'd love to have a complete PS2 um, game set, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. There's a lot of games on the PS2, and although I have a pretty sizable collection, I think I'm pretty far off for from uh, completion. And then next, PS2, again, Guitar Hero 2. Let's see how the disc looks on this. It's it's slightly more scratched up, but it doesn't look too bad. I think it'll still play just fine. So that's Guitar Hero 2. Okay, and is there one more game in here? Oh, there's actually two more games in here. That's four. Eight. Oh, looks like I got one extra game in here. Well, that's uh, that's pretty cool. So that's four, four, nine. Here's game number ten. Guitar Hero rocks the 80s. Nice. I didn't even know they had an 80s version. I mean, it only makes sense, right? Because gu Guitar Hero is so popular and everybody loved the 80s. So that's cool, and it looks complete. It's actually got, what is this, a poster? Yeah, I think it is a poster. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I got a, I got a poster. It's still pretty good condition. I mean, I, I, I don't think it was ever even unfolded, to be honest with you. It definitely wasn't hung up anywhere. But yeah, we got the manual. Complete edition of Guitar Hero Encore. Rock the 80s. Hell yeah. All right. And then I guess the extra game, because that's already 10 games. Let's see what we got for the extra game. And they, they probably put this extra game in knowing... That, you know, hey, I'm going to get a bunch of, um, you know, sports games, which aren't really worth much. And maybe, maybe if I do this again, I'll definitely take the sports games off. Uh, because I think unless one of these other games is, um, you know, pretty pricey, I don't think I'm even going to come close to the value of the box or for, for what I paid for it. But the next one I got is Ford versus Chevy. Yeah, this is this is from that era of PS2 where like every car manufacturer had their own game. Instead of just making one good game with everybody's uh car in it, they they just did like like um uh what was it? The um I have like an Alfa Romeo game. I was actually trying to find it real quick, but I don't think I can spot it. I had an Alfa Romeo game for uh, the PS2. It was like, you just drive that car. <laughs> I'm like, all right, well, that's kind of weird. But I, it's it, it might be weird to me because I grew up in a in a time where, you know, you had like Gran Turismo and, and uh, all these other games like Forza. And it's like you literally get to drive whatever you want. So it's it's almost hard for me to understand why we would limit yourself to like one car or two cars, right? And I bet you like Ford versus Chevy, right? I bet you they both all handle the same. Like there's probably not that much difference between the two cars, like slight variations, I'm sure. But overall, they're probably the same, right? Because if I'm not mistaken, right, they're two competing brands, right? Like they're not owned by the same man, man, manufacturer or something like that. It's not like, it, it's not um. I guess you could say it's not it's not a fake um, competition here, right? Like they're competitors, and they probably don't like each other, unless they are really owned by the same company. And it's just one one of those fake things where you have a bunch of guys saying Ford's better or Chevy's better, but it's really the same thing, right? I mean, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so this is my box. Uh, I'm gonna put some numbers. Up above just to kind of show you guys what I paid for this and what I got uh, again take it with a grain of salt because just as a goof I just wanted to see what was gonna happen and I mean granted most of you guys in the comments will probably be like dude I could have told you this was gonna happen <laughs> but it's mostly sports games let's see let's actually divide it up right I'm actually kind of shocked uh, okay so, out of the box, I paid for 10 games, I got 11. But I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So most of the games are sports games. 
mind you, pretty good condition. One shooter, is this the first person? Um, oh, over the shoulder, maybe? Kind of looks like a first person shooter, but okay, let, let's just call it a first person shooter. One driving game. And three Guitar Hero games. As far as duplicates, I think I only have two. I think I might have already owned this, but I'm not 100% sure. So if I don't own that, I at least for sure own this one. Well, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend or a fantastic week, whatever's coming next to you. Um, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, by the way, congratulations to me because I got 200 subs. Hopefully by the, by the time you're watching this video, it's not going to go down under 200, which is unfortunately the reality of uh, YouTube. I've seen a lot of a lot of my fellow creators, they'll get to a certain milestone and I'll go in the comments and I'll con congratulate them. And then by the time they respond to my comment, it's like, oh, it already went under. <laughs> so... But uh, yeah, if, uh, if you can like, comment, subscribe, share, I definitely appreciate it. Have a great holiday season if I don't come out with that next video. Or if not, just, you know, enjoy, enjoy the time you have. It's a great time to relax right now. It's a great time to enjoy the time you have. Because next year, next year's probably going to be a lot worse. Take care now.